So I'm here with Mr Dawes, the Director of Studies, to talk about the Lockers Park Learner Profile. Mr Dawes, what is a Learner Profile? It is a distillation of six key learning attributes that we I have identified really as becoming really valuable to the children's learning. So rather than focusing on just literally the the curriculum, what they're learning in geography, history, it's really more of an umbrella in terms of what are the things that they need to move forward in their next stage of their lives. And our, in particular, our key reasons, what the things we've identified are, we want to develop resilience in the children, we want them to be creative, we need them to be global citizens, inquisitive, collaborative and aspirational. And there are six elements of the learner profile. And learner profiles are beginning to get real traction in education. There are lots of other schools are looking at it, but I know that you've implemented it. Yes. What's, what's the background to it? Why are learner profiles important? The, I think if we go back to what prep schools were like perhaps 15 to 10 years ago, we, we especially were, a, I guess, a traditional prep school that would go to the CE syllabus, which is the combination syllabus, and we do our, you know, our main academic uh, subjects and it'll be rigorous and that was be their interest into senior school. What we found over the last few years is that in particular senior schools in year nine are almost having to then look at what the children have and actually they're thinking, hang on, things aren't quite right here. They've got a great academic knowledge but their ability to perhaps work clarity, for example, is not as what it was, and that's because children's lives have changed. Their ch childhoods are different with the advent of social media, the ability of unstructured time. They used to learn these things often organically by themselves when they were playing, you know, unsupervised in X, Y, and Z. Now we've got to inherently and be much more, we've got to talk and teach those attributes to them, uh, to, to develop those skills in them. So. We certainly looked at where year nine was going in the senior schools and thought, okay, how can we give our children a little bit of a leap and a head start and think, right, we're going to develop these attributes and make sure that they transfer into that area really well. That was our feeling for it. And, and, but it's not just year nine, is it? It's that no. the IB yes. university, actually career... Yeah, onwards. very much, especially with the IB curriculum. We certainly looked and thought this would tie really nicely with that. So we, we've certainly felt that from a you know university's perspective it's all trickled down isn't it you know, universities are always saying to senior schools okay we, we want our ch your children to come into us and actually these are the things we want and we just looked at that and thought hang on you can't just add those in last minute that has to start almost from year dot and you have to inherently just build that into your curriculum going forward so the learner profile really is an important part for any Locker's boy in his whole educational pathway. Absolutely, it's the starting point. And it doesn't start in year eight, it actually starts in reception. And that for us is, you know, what we found was we were doing perhaps 10 years ago is that we'd get to year six or seven and we'd start here when they started to do more challenging exams, for example, uh, we found that they didn't inherently know how to show that resilience for exams or they didn't inherently know how to work really well collaboratively or show that aspiration and we used to bemoan it slightly but actually we thought actually no we need to go back further it's too late by year six or yeah. seven we actually need to go into reception year one year two and start building these things into our curriculum to try and work it through uh, and it started for us really by looking at metacognition we did a lot of staff training on that and you know learning how to th how to learn effectively and from that, we kind of developed from Art Costa's Habits of Mind, which is a, a theory on how to become an effective person, we developed those six attributes. And that's really what we, where we come to with the learner profile. And I know that around the school, we've got posters referring to different mm. parts. The teachers are building it into yep. their, their approach to lessons. But are you seeing the boys actually seeing the benefit of this? Yes. For us, this is about not radical change in what we're teaching, but there is a little sense that you've got to really make these attributes explicit. So when a boy works, for example, collaboratively, you reward it, 
you pounce on it really and really highlight that for them because they have to realise it and recognise it. So it's having a common language across the school so they start buying into it. And so if you start speaking to our children now, we've been doing this for about, well, it's really launched fully this year. We're starting to see boys recognising when they're being collaborative and actually really zoning in on what they have to do to work effectively together, for example. Or we talk in our language about being aspirational. They are, you know, pointing out, oh, that's really aspirational to, to, to go for that. They recognise it and they start to really aim for to meet those attributes that like. We reward it with our rewards and sanction system. Because I think you were telling me that they could see the collaboration yeah. naturally out, out in the games field. They, that yes. was a natural place. But actually, that approach is being brought into yes. inside into yeah. the classroom. It, it's different context for the same thing. And when we first brought this in, we always said, we, we sort of tried it. So look at what does collaboration mean to you? And you know, the boys do games every day here and all that sort of thing. And they said, Oh, um, um, uh, oh, 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 working in a, in a football match together. And now if you ask them, they'll say, well, in French we worked in pairs and we did a great piece in English where we compared each other's work. So there's lots of sort of, they're starting to see what collaboration actually means and by recognising it, they can really sort of, therefore be in a position to develop that. And actually, we're not in a position to say, oh, you're not creative enough, be more creative. It's about teachers as well, building opportunities to help children to be a little bit more creative and be creative thinkers, for example. So there's, we are certainly seeing a change here and we hope that as they go in the top end especially, they start going out for interviews and that sort of things, they'll be in a better position to explain their thinking and to talk through examples of uh, academic success and success in the wider school environment using the language of, these, of the learner profile. Mr Dawes, thank you so much for sharing your insight Great. into the learner profile. It's been a pleasure.